Is an ADU a tiny house? Are you confused on how these might differ? And are they allowed in our area? Could ADUs be the key to more affordable housing? A listener, Clint in Stockbridge, writes saying, I've heard the term ADU recently on TV. Exactly what is it? And are they allowed in the Atlanta area? Again, Clint in Stockbridge. So an ADU, and I only know this because I have real estate consulting clients in California and ADUs are a big deal. They enhance the value of a property uh, a significant amount, meaning like they consider it winning the lottery when you have an ADU on a property. But ADU stands for accessory dwelling unit. It's a small detached living structure located behind the primary residence on a lot. ADUs include their own kitchen, bedroom, and bathroom facilities. They're intended to be an accessory to the primary dwelling. They are also known as carriage houses, cottage, in-law suites, and many other names. Atlanta's current ordinance defines ADUs as small residential units secondary to the principal dwelling unit, which would include converting a basement or an attic garage into a dwelling space or constructing a separate residential dwelling unit on the same property as a main home. I have to tell you, for years and years, I have wanted to have several cottage homes, several accessory dwelling units on some property that I might own in the future so that everybody would have a place to stay when they come back in. But like many other large metro areas, Atlanta, Atlanta has contemplated the adoption of flexible requirements regulating accessory dwelling units often referred to as granny flats or casitas. I've heard casitas before. In October, city planners introduced an ordinance seeking to ease housing regulations, include, including policies intended to expand where ADUs can be built along with the increasing size of ADUs in certain residential districts. You might be thinking, what does this have to do with me and why is he boring me with this? The reality is we don't have enough housing units for people in America. We're like 6 million housing units behind where we should be. I've seen other estimates around 3 million, regardless of it's 6 million or 3 million. The truth is everybody in the United States deserves to be able to have housing of their own, if that's what they choose to do. According to information provided by the city of Atlanta, the proposed flexible ADU measures intend, are intended to increase housing density, diversify housing styles, and allow for the construction of multi-generational housing. I do like the sound of that. If it is in your dream to have a grandma living in your backyard, you might just have your wish come true. However, the ordinance was halted in November with the hopes to readdress it again sometime in 2022. What can it do for you? There are a number of possible benefits to owning an ADU, including adding value to your property, creation of, or increase of rental income, and much, much more.